Welcome back to my channel. Have you ever been somewhere where you're trying to figure out which receptacle goes to what? In other words, sticking your tick tracer in, listening while you turn the breaker off to figure out if that is the circuit or not? Well, with this, you don't need this anymore because I'm gonna show you an easy way to use this with the audible alert. So you can go to your breaker and you can listen to yourself and it's a one man show versus somebody trying to hold this or you're trying to prop this up like we did in the video, trying to make sure we know which breaker goes to what and which breaker feeds that receptacle. With this, it's a one and done deal. Stick around, I'm gonna show you exactly how this works. Okay, this is the ST120 Plus. I just opened it up and I'm gonna tell you, this is pretty amazing. Now, the only thing I don't like about it and this is the only drawback is how bulky it is. It's not slim like all the other ones of these are. I feel like Fluke started this. I think that people are gonna really just, Klein probably gonna jump on the board, and they should, because with this little button right here, right here, when you slide it over, it makes an audible alert. So I don't have to be way over there listening, like we did earlier in the video, to go over to this breaker to turn that circuit off. I can literally plug this in not prop up anything, as I'm gonna show you here in a second. Plug it in, turn that on, listen, and then go to the breaker and turn it off. It's that easy, and it's gonna be pretty amazing, I think. So without further ado, let's jump right into this and let's see just how good this is. Now, is it super loud? No. Is the tick tracer a little louder? Yes, but when you're in a house or a building like this, you can definitely hear it because it echoes pretty loud. So let's plug it in. Make sure the receptacle's working first, and we'll see just how good it is. Now, I cannot honestly tell you how many times that I've been somewhere where I need to find a circuit. As you see, this GFCI right here does not have a circuit written on it whatsoever. So, we are gonna plug this in. First of all, we're gonna make sure the GFCI does function right, and it says correct. Boom, so that does work. I wanted to make sure before we did this video, we're gonna reset it. Now, when you plug this in, comes on and it's correct. It has all of the readings on here, which is super helpful. And then when you want to listen for the audible alert, you just, very annoying chirp. I feel pretty certain you can hear that. So let's go to the breaker and let's see if we can figure out which one it is. Boom, there it is. So just like anything else that has any kind of lights on the capacitors, listen to this. It's off, it's unplugged, but listen. Pew! Because it stores a little bit, just a little bit of energy in there. So I'm gonna say that um, for the price of this, it's really amazing. I mean, I don't know if you, well, you could definitely hear it, but in this building, I walked all the way to the other side where the panel is, to another panel, not this one over here, but all the way over there, and it was very annoying, so I could definitely hear it, so very good. Now, so not only am I gonna leave this in the description for you to buy, I'm also gonna include a case that you can click on, you can carry this around. I'm gonna have to say that this probably should be in a case or keep your original package that came in because it's well built, but my opinion, you don't wanna get it broken because this is a very handy piece of equipment, and I'm gonna be honest with you, I think it's pretty amazing, so. Beats carrying a tick tracer all over the place when you want to go, just to listen for that beep the whole time when you're trying to figure out what a breaker is. So, because sometimes that thing that you saw plugged in, propped up with two fish tapes, does come undone from your plug, and then you think you got the breaker, and then you have to walk all the way back. With this one, there is no mistake. And not only do you have that audible alert, but all the lights go out along with the alert. So, pretty good piece of equipment. And here's the case that comes in. It's even yellow. It goes bloop. Actually, I'm going to put it like that. Right in. Has a little lanyard, boom, and you're good and safe. It's hard case, so it's, it's not going to break on you. I'll leave both these links down below where you can get them. Very, very amazing, guys. All right, I'm going to leave it right here. Guys, if you are interested in getting a good pair of Kleins or Linesmans, I should say not Kleins, but Linesmans, I've done a couple reviews. Now I'm gonna start out with a Doyle. I'll leave that video right here. You can go to that one and then you can kind of watch the ones I've done. See which ones I recommend. Obviously Klein will be your best bet, but if you wanna see the Doyles in action, definitely click on that video and I'll catch you in there. If you like what you see, make sure you hit that thumbs up 
and subscribe. I'll catch you on the next one. Have a great day.